Disassembly tips. Ensure that you take the following precautions when disassembling a unit. Label each cable as you remove it, noting its position and routing. This will make replacing the cables much easier and will ensure that the cables are rerouted properly. Keep all screws with the component removed, if applicable. The screws used in each component can be of different thread sizes and lengths. Using the wrong screw in a component could damage the unit. If the unit contains light-sensitive components such as motherboard, memory module, CPU, hard disk drive, graphic card store the component in its original ESD packaging to avoid damage. Please read the description below for more details about tools used to removal and replacement, static electricity. Before you begin, remove the basing closure and battery. Removal. Disconnect the speaker cable from its connector on the system board. Remove the 6mm P1 Phillips head screw that secures the left speaker to the top cover. Lift the left speaker off of the alignment pins on the top cover and set aside. Using minimal force, lift the locking bar up on the card reader board ZIF connector and disconnect the card reader board ribbon cable from the system board. Remove the three 2.5mm P1 Phillips head screws that secure the card reader board to the top cover. Lift the card reader board off of the alignment pins on the top cover and remove. Replacement. Place the card reader board onto the alignment pins on the top cover. Replace the three 2.5mm P1 Phillips head screws that secure the card reader board to the top cover. Insert the card reader board ribbon cable into the card reader board ZIF connector on the system board and press the locking bar down to lock the cable into place. Place the left speaker onto the alignment pins on the top cover. Replace the 6mm P1 Phillips head screw that secures the left speaker to the top cover. Connect the speaker cable to its connector on the system board. Thanks for watching. Please click subscribe for more videos and weekly updates.